Hi, my name is Aaron Oakes, and this video is about my summer research project with Dr. Mark Jensen at, at the, uh, the Concordia College Chemistry Department. Um, our research specifically is about solid phase microextraction, or SPEMI, and um, right now we're looking at uh, new types of SPEMI fibers uh, with polymerized ionic liquid coatings, or PIL coatings, that are being developed at Iowa State University. Um, we're, uh, we're looking to see um, how well and how consistently um, these new fibers will uh, extract phthalate esters as compared to commercial fibers. We're using uh, the PDMS DVB uh, commercial fiber uh, and then comparing that to the, the uh, the pill fibers that Iowa State is developing. So uh, we're looking uh, at six phthalates, um, and uh, just in, in order, it's dimethyl, diethyl, benzylbutyl, dibutyl, diethylhexyl, and dioctyl phthalate. And uh, so those those are the six that we're we're very closely looking at. And of course, um, you know, this stuff can more or less. Um, be, be attributed to other uh, relatively non-polar phthalates like this. Um, for uh, methods, like uh, right away when we started our research, we uh, first had to come up with a separation scheme on uh, the HPLC to uh, figure out how to separate these phthalates. You know, on, on uh, gas chromatography it's relatively easy because it's just boiling points, but um, with uh, HPLC, it was all based on polarities, and these all have roughly similar polarities. So we had to come up with uh, a separation scheme for that. Um, and then after we did that, we actually started using fibers and trying to, uh, you know, uh, to use those to figure out extraction efficiencies for each fiber, which was calculated um, taking the, the mass of uh, each analyte in the sample solution divided by the mass of the analyte in the desorption solution for, uh, for our samples and um, we, calculated, or we calculated detection limits and we were comparing uh, calibration curve slopes and, and other things like that to figure out which ones were not only, which fibers were not only better at, uh, at extracting but also um, faster and uh, more consistent as well. Um, I anticipate that uh, the pill fibers will actually do better at extracting uh, phthalates uh, than the commercial PDMS DVB fiber, but um, I don't really have a stake in this, so it doesn't matter too much to me anyway. Um, I mean, really, the people at Iowa State who are developing these fibers care more. I'm just testing their fibers, though, so it's not a big deal to me um, how they do. Um, next steps in, in research would probably be comparing the, the commercial fibers to the pill fibers uh, using a different uh, type of analyte, so different, a different class of compounds uh, aside from phthalates. And, uh, also optimization of the, the pill fibers uh, extraction process because uh, we really used a process that was best for extracting phthalates specifically using the PDMS DVB fiber. So that, that's what our process was optimized for and we need to look into optimizing uh, the, the pill fibers for not only these compounds, but also other ones that we might be testing in the future. But um, that should be about everything, so uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I don't know, have a good day. <laughs>